All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to my channel, Mr. Fogelson. Mr. F here, uh, practice what you preach, practice what you teach. I have the game frame here where you're going to move on to the next step. You'll notice that I uh, turned off one of my lights to give you a little better view of the game frame as we are going to show it on display. I'm setting the mood. All right. Um, notice here we've got the game frame remote. Remember, I took out that plastic little thing so that that way I know the battery is ready to go all right and I also have here it's a micro SD adapter uh, just a heads up um, you are going to need to purchase this um, from like let's say an Amazon or Best Buy um, and, and basically because of the fact that it doesn't come with it but you will need it if you are going to create your um, designs uh, via the computer which I will show you Whoop, upside down because um, you'll notice this little slot here where the game frame um, memory goes into. So just a heads up, this will need to be purchased, sorry kids, sold separately um, as part of your creations on your game frame. Um, so we're taking a look at my game frame. Uh, I have the other end of the power cord um, plugged into a uh, basically a surge protector. Um, I prefer a surge protector because hey, we all don't want surges on our nice uh, piece of uh, machinery or circuitry or um, game frame, whatever you're using. Um, just a heads up, surge protectors are the way to go. All right, so I'm going to take it off this little hanging uh, little spot. I really like putting it there when I'm not using it. Really nice. And I'm going to plug it into the the input, okay? So basically where you plug in the power, there's a little circle there with a the little thing poking out where the pin goes, right? You see there's a little pin that goes in. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. So here we go. I'm, this is, for, sorry, one-handed. So I am now performing the magic trick. All right, it is plugged in. I'm going to make sure it doesn't fall off the table here. It is slipping a little bit, so you got to be careful. I'm keeping one hand on it. You'll notice that the power is on because there's a red light there, and there's also a nice little blinking green light. It tells me that the power is on, and there's some things going on with the game frame. So you'll notice, whoa, there's a time thing there. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the menu, and I'm going to turn off the clock. Let's just do that. I just hit um, next. So now it goes to the display, which usually it starts off with um, heads up. Um, this is what we're going to focus on, right? We've got the 16 by 16, which we multiply together to get the area, which is 256, 256 boxes, right? And basically what that means is it's going to be limited right to the cool pixel art and then when you open it up uh, i'm sorry turn it on the game frame that you'll get a kind of like a default um artwork made by eboys which is pretty sweet because it gives you a good idea of what to make um to start off with now this is a bird it's not uh, not flappy bird so you won't have to rage quit but um keeping that in mind that eboys created some work it helped uh stir some of my uh, students with some ideas um, in regards to their designs. So pixel art is really, really cool. I also am going to hook you up with a link on the bottom of this game frame uh, tutorial. Um, check it out. It's from one of my favorite artists, Phil Hansen, Phil in the Circle. Um, he does basically uh, some uh, TED Talk, which talks about how he did pointillism, and he gets a neurological um, kind of issue with holding his pen, and when, uh, causes restriction because he's like, hey, I basically can't do much with this shake of my hand, can't do the art I want to do, but then he mixes it up, makes an ad adaptation, right? So restriction drives his creativity, which, by the way, this is restriction, right? 256 boxes, 256 colors. Um, it does use a bitmap file, not a GIF. I know it's, I, I'm calling it a GIF, so all you GIF people, um, I gotcha. I'm calling it a GIF. All right, so, but it, this one contains bitmap, um, just a heads up. Um, when you are working with the files, which will be a tutorial in a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and hit next on my remote. Okay, so next. And this one's kind of like showing me some cool WIC things, right? Get it? Because the WIC is like kind of like going. This one's kind of the bomb. Um, but I just want you to take a look. Sorry, there is still some reflection from my lights, but I just turned off half of them. It's kind of annoying. Um, and heads up too, heads up display in regards to when you point that... Um, remote, right? You're really, there's a sensor right about there. I don't know if you could see it, but that's where you're going to want to point your remote to. So you're like, pretend like this little spot here is like a, you're watching TV and you can't find your cable box, right? Because you're trying to change a channel. Well, that's kind of like with this game frame. That's something, a little helpful hint that this little sensor right here will show you that, hey, that's where I need to click 
the next, right? So it will go to the next one. This is kind of cool too. We'll talk about that in a sec. But let's say we were not by the sensor and we were down here and we're like, oh, well, click next. My thing is broken. Oh, no. Or over here, right up top. And over here, you're like on the side. And you're like, oh, no. Well, click next. Yeah, I'm clicking it, right? I'm clicking it. But it's not going. But So make sure you're in the frame of the game frame of the sensor. I'm just messing with the wordplay there. And you'll see that then you can go ahead and hit next. I'm not gonna hit next yet because I wanna talk about this E-Boys one because it's really nice. Uh, very minimalist in regards to the cars. It plays a loop, you'll notice, okay? So keeping that in mind with a nice stable bridge. Very, very uh, kind of like minimalist, abstract, very nice, cool. I like their designs. I like how they do patterns. Really, this will look good with that I go to the side here, okay? So um, patterns, really nice. It plays it in a loop. Uh, we'll talk about that when we uh, go to design these on the computer, but really kind of nice patterns work out really cool. So we're just going to go through a couple more. I tell students they could work with physics or anti-physics, right? So they're you know kind of blowing a bubble here. It's kind of neat. Uh, we've got helium uh, bubble, but that's coming out of this dude. So it's kind of like, why is it flying? So you could really mess with physics a little bit, and it's really nice from smaller to larger. Um, We've got some sort of bug here with four legs. It's dancing. Uh, you really don't want to do too much because it could cause major chaos. Like he's uh, this person who did, on E-Boys basically moved it left to right and then moved the legs. So we got two things going on there. Um, we really got a nice symmetrical design here with the butterfly because butterflies are usually symmetrical. It means if you fold it up into two, it's the same on both sides and it's going. And that middle kind of like piece is really, really stable. So it kind of draws some nice contrast. The colors are beautiful. Love it. Um, a lot of Minecraft inspired art, furnace, very cool. We've got the fire flame kind of going and then some nice little smoke. Two things going on here, really nice. Okay, wheels go up and down. This is kind of nice, um, kind of a bumpy ride though. Um, you've got the road, you can tell the road is moving a little bit. The wheels uh, on the bus go, I mean the wheels on the car go round and round. Um, so really kind of nice and that person's head's going up and down. So it really has some nice bumpy like feel, right? I'm like, woo! Okay, sorry, I'm having too much fun with that one. Um, what does the fox say? All right, I don't know, but um, in regards to that being said, uh, this is just moving, you know, kind of like left to right. It's really nice kind of repetition of a loop. That's kind of what you want to think, beginning and end. And how does it kind of go in some sort of loop or repetition when you're making your designs? Um, and then this one's kind of nice because there's some ambiguity between the head movement, right, from left to right. So it just kind of works, all right? Very nice pattern design. Um, and then we've got another bug and the antennas are moving this time as well as the legs um, This one is really cool because it's like panning across like you're in a train I tell the students you're in a train and you're just looking out the window And this is what happens and it's just panning on by now Obviously you'll see a repeats because this is uh, looped But the more they work the more uh, that they can make to the loop uh, in their designs um, The more frames they add and the longer it could be it's just up to uh, the student in regards to their designs. Uh, we've got some steam coming off of the coffee. Now I really like to show the students this one. This is probably the last one I show because you've got this kind of like illusion, right? It's an illusion. And it's like you could be like hypnotized like, whoa, you will listen to Mr. F. Um, so keeping that in mind, you could do some really cool patterns here. Now they're in a pattern, right? So there's not too much chaos going on because you could see it synced, but I don't recommend this for people who are very sensitive to blinking images. Um, keeping that in mind, um, I have to keep in mind of all my students. So I don't usually show this one if someone's uh, prone to seizures or whatnot. But really, really cool um, design. Um, really, really neat pattern. All right. So this is the game frame uh, designs. This is going to be a really important. I'm going to go ahead and hit the power, right? Um, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step here really kind of nicely. And I'm going to flip it over. Okay. So you'll notice it's still on with that uh, red light because it's plugged in but the game frame is turned off, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and now I'm gonna unplug it. I always recommend that you use the power and turn it off before you unplug it. Otherwise, you could damage the machine. Uh, the circuitry could get messed up. So this is a good rule in, of when working with electronics, make sure it's powered down, right? Make sure it's powered down, which I didn't hit the power because I'm double checking, right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it, okay? So you'll notice that light went off, or two lights that were there, and I'm gonna put the basically the input um, pin uh, power adapter um, cable uh, here to rest, rest on. And then I'm gonna show you how to get the, the uh, memory card, okay? So the memory card is right here. You'll notice it's right here. Now people are, are tempted to be like, ah, oh, I'm gonna 
to pull it out. Yeah, yeah, you're going to break it. Stop that. All right, so how to get it out, right? You just push it in and you hear a click. Push it in, click, okay, and then it pops out. So you push it in, click, pops out. Then you're going to gently pull it out, okay? So then I have my micro, right? You'll see, this is the one it comes with. It's uh, two gigabytes, just a heads up. It's a little hard to see. And then you're going to go ahead, this is going to be one-handed, so Mr. F is now performing the one-handed micro into the adapter. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. Let's see. And push. And, uh-oh, I'm failing miserably. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's see if we can try with my dominant right hand here. Sorry, let's switch, do the switcheroo here. Okay, so let's go ahead and then I, there you go. I pushed it in and you'll notice that this is ready to go <laughs> upside down, upside down. All right, um, so here's my micro SD card ready to be put into the computer in the SD slot. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring this over. We're gonna take a field trip, field trip. Make sure you have your permission slips, thank you. All right, we're going to field trip. This is a, oh, there's my 3D printed helmet. That's pretty cool that I printed out. Um, all right, so here's my station, dual monitors, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it into my computer's SD mini. Uh, slot. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see what I'm doing here. There we go. Push it. Push it real good. And you'll notice that the files come up. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is it. I'm going to move on to the computer. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and check out my other vids because I know you're going to want to do some cool art. And Freddy Fazbear, my 3D printed Freddy Fazbear says, please do your art because it's a lot of fun. Right, sorry, that was my jump scare and I failed. All right, have a good uh, day. Check out my other videos and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye bye.